Welcome back to another classic game room interview, and today I am pleased to speak with Levi Buchanan, the Senior Manager of Developer Relations with Chilingo. And tell, tell our viewers what Chilingo does, because you guys are a massive company. Well, we're, we're a small company within Electronic Arts. So Chilingo is a publisher of mobile games Yes. Um, on iPhone, iPad, Android, Windows Phone. Um, we, yes, that's, that's what happened. So we publish uh, indie games um, across all these, uh, all these smartphones and um, mobile devices. Well, when I think of a, one of the largest publishers of, of mobile games, Chilingo is actually one of the first ones that comes to mind. So I view you as a massive company. Well, sure. I mean, Chilingo has almost a decade of experience in mobile, you know, predating, you know, smartphones. So, I mean, this goes all the way back to those old flip phones that we all had. Really? I, mm -hmm. never, I never played games on the flip phones. What is the, what is the history of, of Chilingo? So, you know, back in, uh, back in the original days of, of mobile gaming, you know, Chilingo sought out and published uh, mobile games uh, for those phones. And that continued on um, until the... And there's no other word for it, you know, the revolution of, uh, of smartphones. And now that they have, uh, you know, taken the world, uh, you know, uh, Chilingo has sought out uh, the best, uh, most fun, most innovative uh, games from independent publishers and uh, published them on just not just the App Store, but Android Marketplace, uh, Windows Phone, uh, to, uh, to the world. What would you say some of the most popular games from the modern generation uh, are from Chilingo because you have published, the company has published some uh, little games, I guess some viewers may have heard of, called, um, oh, I don't know, Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, just, yes, to, just to name a few. And one of my favorites, The Quest, a, like an RPG on, on the iPhone, which I love that game. Yeah, that one has a really nice uh, old, school, uh, yeah. old school feel to it. There's a, yeah, that one's great. Um, but yes, yeah, so, you know, undoubtedly... Um, the biggest game uh, in mobile, um, and you could argue one of the biggest games in all of gaming right now is uh, is Angry Birds, yep. which yes, Chilingo did publish uh, for uh, for iOS. That's just that's a phenomenal game, and I, I like uh, Cut the Rope as well. Cut that's an excellent game, um, no doubt about it. The character, you know, I think that's one of the one of the reasons I fell in love with the game so quickly was not only was it fun, but just it. It just had such style, and I loved little Om Nom. It's just, yeah. It was just a great character. He's cute, and it just is a little, the expression on his, his face is good. Yes. As soon as the candy swings close to him, and he opens his mouth and gets all eager, it's, uh, yeah, the, it, that's the little, those are the little touches. And Angry Birds has the same thing. It's just got a, it's, it's simple in a way, but it's, it's that brilliance. You know, it's just the sound, the sound design, the sound effects, the noises the birds make, I, along with the gameplay. Right, when you're pulling the, um, when you're pulling the slingshot back, that little stretchy noise that it makes, it's just those little details, they, they, they add up and they make all the difference. Well, how does Chilingo go about finding games to publish and what do you look for in a, in a game from a developer to publish? Sure thing. So Chilingo is, uh, I mean, we we're, have we're a worldwide presence. You know, we look and talk to developers all over the world, uh, from America to, you know, former Soviet countries uh, to China. Um, Everywhere um, we we look for uh, we look for uh, mobile developers to uh, to work with, and you know some things that we look for are um, you know innovation, of course, fun. Um, we look for uh, a, a global appeal, um, and sometimes we do go for uh, we we do niche games. For example, like the Quest, which is a you know a fantastic you know game for RPG fans, mm -hmm. somebody that loves Cut the Rope may not get into the quest, but somebody that loves old RPGs will be so excited and grateful to, uh, to have something, uh, you know, like, like the quest for them. So um, we look for games that will appeal to everybody. Well, the quest is awesome, you guys. If you're into old school RPGs, because it's hilarious, too. It's not just that it's a great throwback piece. Uh, it's just funny. I see that in a lot of your games, a, a, good, a good sense of humor. If, if I were a developer... Um, in my dreams, sometimes I am. You know, I, I review a lot of games and play games, so in my mind, I obviously know what's best in games. So I'm thinking about a game where you play like a giant El Camino with robot arms that strangles monster lizards for points. Um, and I, so, if, so if I made this game, 
Um, maybe for something like the Sega 32X, but that doesn't exist anymore. So obviously I got to look somewhere else. So how about Chilingo? What, what do I need to do to get my potential game published? Well, you know, one of the incredible things about uh, mobile gaming is that the barrier to entry is so low. It's so small now. Um, there are so many great tool sets um, for, for developers or potential developers to, uh, to pick up and learn and master and uh, really you know, really fulfill, you know, those, like, for example, you wanted a, a, a Camino with robot arms. Well, who doesn't? The tools are there for you to, for you to make that game. And if it's a game that, um, it, actually, I, let me touch on something there. If you're making a game that you like, you're not making a game based on a spreadsheet, I'm going to hit these bullet points. You're making a game that you would like, and that is so critical. That can make all the difference, because if, if you make a game organically like that, chances are pretty good that it's not going to be just you that likes it. Actually, I see that as a complaint from a lot of viewers on, on particular games that are reviewed, uh, uh, games that are obviously formulaic. I'm not, not talking about any of yours, but games that are based on maybe a popular franchise that just have this bullet point, this bullet point, collect that, level to this, and they're, like, they're all the same. And I, and I do notice that about your games is they're different. You take something like Stretched, uh, which is a game that you've, you've published recently. And it's, it's similar to Cut the Rope, but slightly different. But it certainly doesn't follow any, any exact formula. But I think that it also has a lot of the good things that I see in Chilingo games, like easy-to-use menu interface and uh, fun ways to unlock say, things like stars or, or books. Like Let Me Out is another one that was, that was, that was a cute, fun Let game. Let Me Out is a great game. I really enjoy it. You know, we, there, there are certain things that we do that we, that we like to, to bring to, uh, to, to mobile gamers because we have incredible respect for them. You know, even though a lot of these games are only $0.99, cents, $2, $3, it's still your money. It's still, it's still money that you, that you made and you're spending. And so you deserve the best experience possible, regardless of the price. So we absolutely... Um, make sure that, that the titles that we publish, you know, we work with these developers to make sure that it does have great user interface, it does have good controls, it does have good production values. You mentioned humor. You know, that's such an incredibly uh, underrated thing in, in video games. And it doesn't have to be laugh out loud funny. I mean, we don't... You know, comedy is, is extremely difficult, I think, to pull off uh, in a game. Uh, and I'm talking like hard comedy. Um, but you can be clever. Yes. You can be. You can be funny. You can be subtle about it, and uh, that is part of you know. There is something so critical about um, if you can get the gamer to smile. I'm sorry. If you can get the gamer to smile, in a way, I think that you've won. You know, I mean, if if because if if they're if they're playing your your game and they're smiling, and because this is part of the social uh, of, of mobile, if somebody else sees you playing a game and smiling. They're actually more than likely to uh, to ask, uh, "Hey, what are you playing?" And then word of mouth, you know, starts uh, starts going around. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned the, the price because something like Angry Birds, which is what, all of ninety nine cents, or maybe maybe free. I think on Android it was free. I've spent as much time playing Angry Birds as I've spent playing Mass Effect Two, which I see running behind yeah. you. I mean, they're both totally different games, obviously, but I don't, f you know, but I have, I feel like I got a great experience with both of those games, which are on completely different ends of the spectrum. You did, and like I said, price is absolutely irrelevant. Um, it's, it doesn't matter if you paid a dollar, or thirty dollars, or sixty dollars. You deserve, you know, the best experience uh, uh, possible. It's, it's your money, it's your time. Uh, you don't deserve uh, cut corners. And you mentioned word of mouth, you'll be happy to hear that when I had my car in for servicing a few weeks ago, and I'm just sitting there, uh, I forget, I was working on my laptop or something, maybe playing a Chilingo game, I actually don't remember. But there was a guy who was just, uh, one of the, one of the uh, ladies that worked there, like an, older, an older woman, was asking one of the mechanics or something, like, I just got an iPhone, what's, what's the first thing, I, what, what, what's the first game I should get? And he recommended Angry Birds. So you, you, so you should thank that guy who I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's usually one of the, well, you saw, I mean, there were enormous uh, downloads of, of, of Angry Birds, uh, Cut the Rope, and, and, and many of the top mobile games over the holidays. It, it, those are just, those, are, those have become go-to benchmark titles. They, they have defined uh, what mobile gaming can be, but they aren't, they aren't the entirety of mobile gaming, but they, they are, they're standouts, and they have been ambassadors to, to all, of, 
all you know not just not just hardcore gamers but everybody proving the incredible you know value potential entertainment of, of, of mobile games those games have been amazing ambassadors on those fronts